tutorial we're going to cover the installation and customization of the manager overview plugin. What you'll need to follow this tutorial is Spiceworks version 4.7 and above. Let's get started. Spiceworks is doing very good job in collecting your network data and creating reports based on it. But there is no out of the box method to collect and display real-time information about help desk performance. This is where the manager overview plugin takes place. This plugin allows you to aggregate ticket information to your Spiceworks dashboard. It updates in real-time so you can address critical issues as they occur such as taking off the workload from an overloaded admin so your SLA or help desk respawn time isn't affected. We will begin by using the Spiceworks search box to search for the plugin. Type in Manager Overview and click on the search icon. Then click on the search result from the community option. Then click on the Manager Overview plugin link. The plugin is made of two parts, the plugin itself and the manager overview report. At the plugin page, right click on the report link and open it in a new tab. Go to that new tab and click on the install button to install the report. Once the report is successfully installed, you can close the tab. Go back to the plugin page and click on the install button. And the plugin will be imported to your local Spiceworks server. The plugin itself has no configuration options. The customization is done on the manager overview report itself. We will cover that part shortly, but first, let's see the plugin in action. Go to your dashboard and click on the Add Content icon. Then click on the Manager Overview option and a new widget called Manager Overview will be added to your Spiceworks dashboard. Since this is a fresh Spiceworks installation, the widget has very limited data to display. Let's update some tickets and see that the widget information really updates in real time based on the changes we are making. To modify the tickets information, we'll simply go to the help desk screen and assign tickets to admins. Now that we have made the changes, let's see how it reflects on the widget. Okay. So the widget now shows the updated ticket information. But notice that we still don't have any dead tickets. The default settings for dead ticket reflects a ticket that is open for more than 21 days and was last updated more than 7 days ago. Usually, not having any dead tickets is a good sign. However, since this is a demo, let's change the report settings so we will have dead tickets display and while doing that we'll also see how easy it is to customize the data returned by the plugin and the report to match your specific needs. In order to customize the report click on the help desk button then click on reports. Locate the manager overview report and click on the edit button and here we have the SQL source code for this report. As you can see, it contains several blocks, the open tickets, the unassigned tickets, the dead tickets, and the open tickets per admin. We are currently interested in the dead tickets block. The first criteria is used to select 
only tickets that are open for more than 21 days. The second, for those who have been updated more than 7 days ago, and notice that there is an end statement between those two criteria. So only tickets that match both of these criteria will be picked up by the report. Now let's zoom in and modify the criteria so that our widget will have the tickets to display. And of course, don't forget to save the new settings. Back to the dashboard page, we now see that the widget reflects our changes and lists one dead ticket, just as we planned. We are now going to go back to the report settings and change it to the original values. One question I'm getting a lot is, is it possible to add more data or non-helpless data to the widget? The answer is yes. The report is made out of several SQL blocks combined by the union statement. Each block acts like an SQL report of its own. All you need to do is to add one more union block or union statement then write down your SQL query and it will be added to the report. However, please remember, the report runs every time you load your dashboard, so adding too much information to the report will have effect on performance, especially on large network, and may increase the dashboard loading time. Ok, so now that we have saved the changes, we take one last look at the results, and once again, our changes are successfully reflected. There are no dead tickets. That's all for this tutorial. You have all the information you need in order to install and configure the manager overview plugin.